Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. With a restaurant that's been around for as long as Arby's has, some things are bound to be kept from public view. So let's pull back the curtain and check out 10 secrets Arby's doesn't want you to know. Arby's was originally meant to be more upscale. Yeah! Damn it! Although roast beef was once considered much more of a luxury item in America and was even once a specialty at many early fast food chains, the meat had gone out of style before the launch of Arby's, at least in the fast food industry. With this in mind, the restaurant's choice to make roast beef their signature offering was done with the intention of making their brand upscale, even if they were still considered to be a fast food restaurant. Thankfully, even though the chain is unlikely to be considered upscale these days, it is often much fancier and fresher than other popular chains. Arby's is still upscale in the hearts of superfans, after all. It was my sandwich. Next time you're dining at Arby's, consider putting your pinky out during bites and sips, and you can make the original Arby's spirits bless you with their appreciation. Or in theory, at least. Fries for free at some locations. Man, that smells good. Okay, fine, but we gotta do this quick, right here against the wall. Fast food locations are known for their often large portions. However, in the last few years, sizes have become more stringently crafted, and extras have become much rarer, mainly due to inflation and supply chain issues. With that in mind, the idea of free extra food is hard to grasp and becomes that much more exciting as a result. While Arby's fries, particularly their curly fries, have been somewhat of a controversial item in fast food circles, many Many fans swear that they are the best fast food fry around. Due to this, it's hard to imagine how the chain could ever allow free fries to be an option, even at limited locations. Bring me my fries. Arby's locations often have contests or promotions that allow you to get your hands on some free fries. But one can't help but think that if this secret got too well known, the practice would probably be ended altogether. To help those who look forward to this perk visit after visit, maybe keep this secret to yourself. And as a reward, you can begin using this secret to your advantage every visit as well. You can add fish to the infamous Meat Mountain Sandwich. Is it fishy? It's fish. You know what I mean. One of Arby's most well-known secrets is the sandwich affectionately dubbed the Meat Mountain. This monster of a sandwich comes piled with all of Arby's delicious deli-style meats, including roast beef, ham, turkey, bacon, and fried chicken. The cholesterol monster scares off many consumers, but those brave or hungry enough to eat the sandwich tend to have amazing things to say about it. One thing is for sure, if you eat this Franken Stein's creation, you'll conquer even the strongest hunger. This sandwich alone pushes into 2,000 calories territory, so be ready to pack on some pounds while you enjoy this rarity. Big friggin' surprise. With that knowledge, it might both surprise and terrify many, even Meat Mountain fans, that there is a whole other meat you can request on the notorious sandwich, fish. While Arby's fried fish fillets might not be the extra ingredient most consumers will want to venture into trying, some will be thrilled by the novelty of the combination alone. After all, when was the last time you've heard of any food item, fast food or not, that combined fish with land-dwelling meats? The mixture of salty and hearty might have a lot of potential packed into it, but only the most adventurous fast food fans will be running out to combine all of Arby's land and sea meats onto a bun. Their sauces have more sugar than you may realize. The first step is love. The second is meat. Despite the nutritional information on the boxes of many food items that break down sugar, calories, and other qualities, did you know that this information is often far from exact? In fact, when it comes to calories in particular, there is a ton of leeway given to food producers. With this in mind, it should not come as a big surprise that Arby's packs extra sugar into their food items and does this as much as they possibly can to help boost the taste of their offerings. The biggest 
biggest offender? Their beloved sauces. Especially when it comes to Arby's horsey sauce. More sugar is being packed into the packets than you might realize. I put a lot of Arby's horsey sauce on those. Since it's individually packaged, it becomes that much easier to make the sugar content less obvious for consumers. If you're eating at Arby's, this likely does not bother you in the least, but if you're looking to cut down on your sugar consumption, it might be worth doing a little extra research before covering your next roast beef sandwich in a mountain of horsey sauce. Once blamed for a salmonella outbreak. Welcome to Arby's. Yeah, hi. Uh, can I get one roast beef and cheese slider? Not only was the restaurant blamed for a large salmonella outbreak in 2014, but in 2021, they found themselves blamed for a smaller outbreak as well. Thankfully, these are the only two major instances of the restaurant being the likely cause of a large-scale sickness event. It's like shock and awe for your bowels. Due to this, you don't have to hold your tongue next time you want to suggest Arby's for a family outing. For those affected by the outbreaks, however, Arby's will most likely give them a sour feeling whenever they see the cowboy hat logo. After all, when you're in business for as long as Arby's has been, it's hard to avoid some slip-ups. Just hope that the next time you venture to Arby's that you don't become part of this small, unlucky club. Keeping your stomach strong enough to keep down your delicious roast beef sandwiches is the ideal outcome. The famous roast beef arrives in an unappetizing bag. It's the Swedish term for beef that is roasted. Many fast food chains have found themselves caught with less than appetizing packaging for their most popular items. With Arby's, their scandal deals with their most beloved entree item, the roast beef sandwich. That's right, the famous meat that kicked off the chain's reputation has a strange history behind it. One that the chain is more than likely hoping will never become widespread knowledge, lest it scare away longtime fans or those looking to start eating at the fast food chain. Well, here it is. The roast beef comes in a weird, unappetizing looking bag. But what's the big deal with that, you might ask? Nobody cares, man. Well, it comes in a bag packed with a gross-looking liquid and other preservative Shh. material. That's right, the freshness the chain boasts about when talking about their star item comes at a pretty gross cost. Thankfully, beyond the aesthetics, the packaging and preservatives do not actually impact the freshness of the product at all. In fact, it comes like this because the roast beef has not actually been cooked yet and is instead cooked at the restaurants to ensure it takes tastes perfect on every visit. After all, how else would Arby's still be going strong after all this time? There have been several finger incidents at Arby's. Load the meat and then slice the meat. Definitely. I'm um, a quick study, so... Oh. I cut myself. Chicken fingers are a staple at many fast food locations, but that's the only finger customers typically want when they go out to eat. Unfortunately, Arby's has had not one, but several scandals where customers discovered remnants of human fingers in their food. Imagine biting into your delicious roast beef and cheese sandwich and finding something other than the expected ingredients, and you might just begin to understand how these unlucky diners felt at that moment. One of the unlucky diners, Ryan Hart of Michigan, described the taste and texture of the finger as being like rubber. Some customers who dislike Arby's have described their roast beef as being rubbery, but this incident takes it to the next level. When he pulled out the object, it was immediately recognizable as a finger, as the fingernail was still attached. Yikes and gross. A piece of a finger. When you think about the horror packed into this story, it would make it hard to eat another sandwich from anywhere, never mind just from Arby's. Next time you're at Arby's, don't let yourself be worried, though, as the chain has served millions of customers over the years with only a few major incidents. In industry terms, these hideous incidents of strange, unrequested finger sandwiches are nothing to worry about. Arby's served venison for one day. Arby's, we have the venison. 
Arby's has occasionally dipped its toes into the waters of less conventional fare. Even roast beef might seem fairly alien to many fast food fanatics, although the item used to be much more popular in the pre-60s era. But even the most adventurous fast food chains have avoided one specific category of meat, wild game. Well, Arby's decided to break that taboo and give the wild beasts a shot when they released their venison sandwich in 2017. The sandwich was meant to mark the beginning of hunting season in 2017, but both hunters and non-hunting consumers alike began to feel the sandwich choice was a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. From the perspective of hunters and conservation experts, the mass production of venison-based fast food items put the balance of ecosystems where deer roam in danger, and both groups began campaigns to convince the fast food chain to immediately pull the sandwich from their outlets. Hunters and venison connoisseurs, who were simply curious as to whether the chain could pull off the notoriously hard-to-prepare meat, effectively were disappointed in a different way, as the sandwich was known for being extremely bland and underwhelming. After all, since venison requires a lot of know-how and expertise to get right, it would be difficult for a chain that's known for prepared fast food items to keep the quality up to snuff. There's a reason water cups are so small. 50 bucks says the fat girl eats a third big beef and cheddar. Who's on it? Okay. I'll take that. You got it. Arby's is often known for its customer perks. However, sometimes they don't make things easy for the customer. One example, the super small cups they give to you if you order water in store. That's right, the workers at Arby's are onto your plan to get free soda, and they give you these purposefully tiny cups to ensure that you are more likely to simply get water. Although some people might see this choice as being made more out of spite than is necessary and then fill up their tiny cups with as much soda as possible for revenge, even if it is a major hassle to do so. Can you really blame the chain for this practice, though? If you're already hanging out in the lobby of the store, filling up the water cup should not prove to be that much of a hassle. And let's face it, most people are still going to fill the small cups up with soda anyway. Water sucks! And the workers at Arby's have much better things to do than try to keep you from doing so. Also, if you're going through the drive through the workers will put your water in a regular-sized <laughs> cup, as they know you're almost certainly truly looking for water with your meal. Let's face it, some people simply do not like soda or would just prefer the food be the star of the meal instead of a sugar-packed soda that can overwhelm the palate. Arby's has yet to become antibiotic-free. This lucky reporter will be the first human to sample this delicious crime against nature. It might upset longtime fans to know that Arby's recently received an F for its lack of transparency regarding its use of antibiotics. When it comes to whether or not antibiotics are used in their famous roast beef, the company has been especially dodgy. While this secret is not completely unknown, it hasn't received wide enough attention to make the company do much about it. So if this bothers you, be sure to shout about it on your social media or from the traditional mountaintop. While a lot of people might associate antibiotic-free as a practice that's more attached to both upscale restaurants and grocery store products, the practice has quickly become a staple of many fast food chains as well. In fact, when a fast food chain decides to make this huge leap, they often make it a centerpiece of their advertising campaign in hopes of drawing in customers who will see it as a sign that they can trust the quality of the food being served. Oh, we ate it. People will eat anything. Even with the increased pressure within the fast food industry to go antibiotic free, Arby's has yet to invest the time and effort to do so. Not to worry though, the food still tastes great despite being potentially filled with little components that you might not want to know about as you chow down. Pick out another great video, then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.